nice and lovely welcome back in the kitchen with chef for color cooking show well basically today we want to do some lovely jamaican curry chicken i know i, I did it quite a so many times over and over and over with curry chicken but you know it never too much you know i mean every day you learn something new so basically i want to give you all of my ingredients which i did have today which i'm going to use to marinate my curry chicken um first of all i'm just gonna put on my gloves just to make you guys see exactly what's going on right here Right here I have some white onion, spring onion, fresh thyme and some garlic. Right over here I have roughly 3 kilos of chicken. I wash it off into some lemon juice as you can see. So as I said I wash it off into some lemon juice, fresh and nice. But basically we want to get it marinated first before we cook our curry chicken. So first of all what we're going to do, I'm going to simple pop that piece of fresh thyme one handful of white onion handful of spring onion couple of cloves of garlic um, next thing we're gonna put one large spoon of paprika and a pinch more, that's paprika seasoning Teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. And a teaspoon of chicken seasoning. So, as you can see, looking lovely and nice. I'm using the mild curry powder. So, that's one teaspoon of curry powder. Two teaspoon of curry powder. Total, nice and lovely. Um, I'm gonna put a pinch of grounded pimenta. And also, we're gonna put some nice, lovely everyday season one tablespoon of everyday season that's it we're not gonna put any more season I'm gonna leave it as is it at the moment um as I say you can see we have all of the natural seasoning but next we're gonna put some vegetable oil roughly a tablespoon of vegetable oil to keep the flavor now we're gonna Give it a lovely rub like this. The best thing all you can do your chicken is to cook, marinate it first and put it down for a nice good two to three hour before you cook it. But today we're gonna marinate it and cook it instantly to show you you can do this at home also too guys. We come out lovely and taste really nice, all right? But only thing I can say, I'm using the mild curry powder, not the strong one. So sorry about that. Nice and lovely. So the chicken looking so good already so far. Lovely. So look at that. That is beautiful. Really nice. So now we're going to move the camera straight to the pot. All right. First thing is to preheat the oven. That's one of the main thing you need to do is to preheat your oven. All right. Let's. Get the camera in the pot nice and lovely so first of all what we're gonna do this is a pot right here we're gonna put just a pinch of oil not too much just a pinch of oil all right the next thing we're gonna simple we got some more white onion garlic and spring onion and a piece of thyme straight inside of it like this So I'll take this for a second. The next thing we're gonna put that lovely chicken inside of it to get the flavor from that. 
garlic and thyme and spring onion. Nice and lovely. That's the chicken. Next thing we need to do is cover it like this and turn on your stove low and make it cook for roughly 10 minutes. In between the 10 minutes, keep stirring it. Nice and lovely. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to check at it. That's the way oh, it looks guys, right here. Look at that. Cooking, boiling up. So as I said before, 10 to 15 minutes, I, I leave it like this on a medium size heat. And this is the way, what, this is the result which I get from it. And remember, I'm not using a strong curry, I'm using a mild curry powder at the moment. So as I can see, looking lovely and nice. But not only that, I got some extra carrot and potato, more white onion, thyme, and also some garlic which I'm gonna put in inside of it right here this is all of my veg and I'm gonna pour it straight inside of it like this nice and lovely so I'm using two medium carrot one big large no one large potato and also more white onion thyme spring onion and all these things to give it the flavor but as you can see down on the pot it's looking good I'm gonna simply pop a little bit of water I wash up a ketchup buckle and I'm gonna pour it straight inside of it like this that's a little bit of water now so let's put a little bit of ketchup inside of it like this this is our chef ricotta cook this is my version you can have your version if you don't want to have ketchup you don't have to a little bit more of the paprika a little bit more of the chicken season. I'm not gonna put any salt because most of these season already got salt. Give me a stir. As you can see, I'm gonna serve this with some plain rice, but my plain rice got some coconut milk in it. So you must know so that's gonna taste good. All right, lovely and nice. Give it a give it a taste and see how it, it tastes so far. Hmm. Man, that is beautiful. So what we want to do, we want it to cook down for a nice good next, probably 10, 10, probably one next good 15 minutes on a medium size heat. Nice and lovely. So as I can see, you see, yeah, that's look nice. This is finished. I don't even think I need to cook this anymore. This is finished. Let's turn it off and share it out. So basically what you want to do, make it cook down to this lovely gravy. As you can see, looking lovely and nice. Give it a taste. Mm, that is beautiful. Oh my God. I'm gonna turn it off, I'm gonna share it out. We don't need to go any further. So basically, guys, as I say, you just want it to cook down to that lovely gravy and it had that beautiful veg and the bits and pieces. Let's love it. And you cook down the gravy, get a lovely flavor and a taste from it. Ah, oh, it's amazing. So, thank you so much for watching Chef for Color Cooking Show. And hopefully we can come out the best, better in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye. And the beauty is, the curry chicken can go with like, Rice and peas are some plain rice or even some lovely coconut rice. But as you can see, looking lovely and nice and fantastic guys. So enjoy it and hopefully we can come out with best better in the future. And see you next time from Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. Bye bye.